Hello guys and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be talking about how you can change the GDM login background. So let's just start it. Now, if you're familiar with GNOME or the, <clears throat> the GDM lock screen, then you would know that this is your like default background. Okay, like something like this grayish color or if you are on Ubuntu, then it's something like orangeish and something. Uh, while on normal, it's something like this. Okay, grayish, blackish types background. So it is good but it's too much plain for me at least like if you're using windows or mac os you know those backgrounds on lock screen looks really great but uh, well gnome doesn't support that uh, it supports when you lock the screen but it doesn't support it on login screen so how we can change this login screen one because we really want that when we are greeted on the login screen like something that just makes uh, the computer starting really good it feels good like because you have play mode uh, most of the times the boot animation and then after that you just see this plain thing so i think we can uh, change that but gnome didn't make it easy to do that for this we need to get the g resource file and decompile it then change make the changes then recompile it to apply the css effects now i had to do it so many times that i made some scripts in this folder neat folder called change gdm background so I will probably upload that uh, in a repository on GitHub or in a gist and I will probably post a link down there. So these are the files. Okay. The first file that we will be looking at is uh, <clears throat> this step1.sh <clears throat> extract.sh step2.sh Now I will just get over here. So this one didn't work. I don't know why. Sometimes Doom gets some problems. Extract.sh. So let's maximize that. Maximize that. And uh, maximize that. Okay. So now we are on extract.sh. In this file, the simple work is it extracts uh, your G resource file into a folder called GNOME shell in your home directory. Now, keep in mind uh, these all files and commands are taken from the internet from various sources like Arc, Wiki, and other sources. <clears throat> and I have them, I've just combined them in one place. So, first thing was that. And second is, uh, take this at your own this because it's changing some files so i would recommend taking a backup seeing if it works if it works then uh, really great if it doesn't then you should have a backup to just revert that uh, it uh, worked every time for me it didn't cause me any problem till now uh, it worked in gnome 3 it worked in gnome 40 so i think it should be good but you can never be too sure depending on this too so the extract.sh does that simple work. It takes this file, gnome shell theme.g resource and uh, decompress it, extract it completely. Then we use step1.sh. It removes the old shell theme folder if you have ever done that. Like I always uh, keep, I always have to like refresh it whenever your GDM gets updated, which gets a lot in Arc Linux, but not that much. So it removes the previous one. It makes the work directory this one. It uses extract.sh, this one, okay, to extract the G resource. It then copies the back.jpg file. I will show you in a minute. And then it uh, copies this XML file to the work directory. Then we have step two. Okay, this is after we do some CSS change. I will show you that in a minute. Uh, so we do that and then we can just do this. It will compile it, paste it in the relevant directory and do all the stuff for us. This one will require pseudo permissions. So let's start it. The first thing we will be doing is uh, pasting whatever background you want. For me, the background is, is this back.jpg. Okay. It is a blurred version of a wallpaper that I really like. And it just sets that as my background. Okay, I have some others also. This is the non blood version, and this is uh, a simple one with the Arc Linux logo, which I added in past. But I don't use Arc anymore. I used Arc based distro, so not much relevant now. So this is the background we want. So you just have to uh, make your file named as back.jpg. This is uh, CSS change.txt. This is what we will be changing in the CSS. 
So let's just start the procedure. I will open Tilex here, my terminal of choice. Let me just make it always on top. And then we will do the first step. So dot slash step one dot sh. Okay, step one is done. Now we go over here. I will go to uh, shell theme, theme, and uh, you can see back.jpg is over here now. Gnome shell dot CSS. I won't open in VS Codeium because it messes up my project directory. So code OSS it is. Now we are in this file. You will go to the very bottom over here, and you can see this log dialog loop. Now it has this background URL, back.jpg, background size this, and background repeat, no repeat. The reason for that is I've already changed it. Okay. In your case, it will be log dialog group and there will be a background color. Okay. So you can just change the color. If you want to just change the color, you don't want an image, you want a solid color of your choice. You can easily do that. But in our case, we want uh, to have a background image. So we just. Let me just make another tab. Okay. In our case, we want to change the whole background image. So we do this. Background size is the screen resolution we are using. In my case, it's 1920 by 1080. Uh, background repeat, no repeat. And uh, URL will be this, back.jpg. So if okay. So now the changes are done. You want to recompile that. So there's this file called uh, gresource.xml. It keeps all the files that we uh, need to make in that G resource and it handles all the stuff, what goes in it and uh, stuff like that. So what we are going to do is we are going to supply step 2.sh. Let me enter the password. And you can see we got one more file now, gnome shell theme.g resource. Now this is the file that it copied and it required pseudo permission for. Once this file is copied, your log, uh, login screen should be changed now. So that is uh, it for today, guys. I hope you like this video and uh, do comment down if it works for you. If it doesn't, then also do comment down with what was the problem. And I will see if I can help you in that regard. And uh, just subscribe to my channel if you liked it. Like the video if you liked it. And I will see you in my next video. See ya.